Hey everyone, Paul here, Soundbox, it's another At The Bench update, so it's been about a week since the last update, and a little bit has changed since then. Um, I was working on an Audi Quattro last week, which I showed you, and that was going well, uh, until that afternoon, I just got bored. Um, I was masking off window rubbers, sat there thinking, I'm really not enjoying this kit at all. Lost all the mojo, lost all the steam, and put it to one side, and thought, no, not going to do it. Um, what it is, it's the older Tamiya kits, they're very, very simple. Um, and they don't keep my interest. So had a bit of a call of the stash. I uh, got rid of the some of the older Tamiya kits, uh, moved them on, and yeah, I think that did a little bit of good for the mojo. So a few of them got sold. There's still a few for sale. I don't want a Porsche 9, oh god, the Moby Dick Martini Porsche or a Renault 5 Tamiya. Give me a shout, I've got them there. Uh, the mint in their boxes, perfect. Even got some aftermarket decals with Renault 5 for the Rotten scheme. Uh, give me a shout. Um, so yeah, it kind of cleansed the, uh, not the soul, but the modeling mojo a little bit there, getting rid of those. Those simpler kits just don't do it for me. They're lovely subjects, but the kits just don't hold my interest. So, I started the Lamborghini event store build for the video build. First part of that went up. Um, picked a, for me, a slightly different colour. I know some people are saying the grey is kind of in fashion at the minute, but a lot of people when you build Lamborghinis expect a bright flash colour, and that's kind of what I meant. Um, so, got all that painted up 2K, it looked great. And I've been working on the chassis and all the engine, and that is all done now as well. And we've got part two all filmed. I just need to edit uh, four and a half hours worth of footage down to about 40 minutes. So that's a job for maybe tomorrow, and we'll get the second part up of that. So that's going great. Also, we're working on the cage room again, and that is going absolutely fantastic. We've got all the back end in now, roll cages on, the carpet's in. Some of the seat belts are in. We'll go ahead and have a proper look in a minute. But that's going absolutely fantastic. And myself and Sam, I've not done a buddy build with Sam for a while. And I think we're both kind of missing it. So I thought, right, I've got two projects on the go. The Caterham's, you know, it's a long burn. It's going to take some time to do. I'm in no rush to do it. I'm enjoying plodding along at my own pace. Uh, the event of doors a video build. It's not going to take all that long again. I thought, you know what? I'm going to start another kit. So myself and Sam bought these kits after I saw somebody on ice and Facebook build one. Now I'll normally stay clear of Fujimi kits because of their terrible decals, but I saw that. Uh, the McLaren MP4-12, it's from the Spa 24 hour. Um, saw it built up, it looked absolutely fantastic. So I asked the uh, poster what the kit was like, what the decals were like, and they said it was great, no bother at all. So we bought those. Um, have a look around the other day on Hero Boy. And found Sam one of these as well. So he's bought one. And then I went and found some decals. Um, they know me in decals. So I found these hobby design decals. Those. I'll show it overhead in a minute properly. Um, and it's for that car. It's a Gulf McLaren. And I just fell in love with that thing straight away. I was like, oh my god, that's beautiful. Hobby design decals, they go down great. I've never had any issues with those before. And that is brilliant. So that's a reverse unusual blue orange. Now there's another set as well, which is a normal typical gull scheme that Sam's going to do. I'm going to do this one. And I bought the other scheme as well. And I'm probably going to buy another one of these kits as well. Now I was going to do a full review of the kit. But it's not the easiest kit to find. It's not the cheapest. It just doesn't seem to be out there. You've really got to search around for it. And to be honest, if I had reviewed it, I wouldn't have been able to do a bench update today. It would have stopped me starting it till later on today, and I want to crack on with this. So for me, what we're going to do, we're going to go overhead in a minute. I'm just going to have a quick look through the box with you. Uh, and we can see what's in there, and we can see what you get. Have a look at the decals. I've also got the paint for it, <coughs> excuse me, as well, from Hero Boy. So that's the orange for it. And it's just lovely. It's such a nice kit. It really is. It's not cheap. It's, it varies between 35 and £45. Pounds. But for what you get in the box, it really isn't all that bad. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, so excited to start that. Really have been looking forward to it. Um, and like I say, it looks a great kit. It really, really does. So there we go. So let's go over. First, I'll have a look at what we've been working on. Then we'll have a look through the kit, and then we'll come back. So bear with me today. Stick with me. And uh, we shall see what we get out. Right, okay. So first off, I've been working on the Lamborghini. Um, if you saw the other day, uh, this thing's been 2K, it's got a lovely 2K job on it, really is nice, really happy with this colour as well. A few specks of dust, a little bit of hair on it, it's got a spot of hair there and a few specks of dust, they're going to need sanding and polishing out, but overall, 
very happy how that finish has gone. The bodywork's gone well, um, as to with all the other parts, the doors, um, boot lid, etc. All gone really well. It's a beautiful 2K. Very, very happy with that. So that's gone really good. That was part one. We covered that in part two. Um, we got all the wheels on, so they were all 2K as well. They've been decaled, tyres are on, a little bit of a wash inside as well. We built up all the engine bay, as you can see. So again, all kit parts, absolutely beautiful. Really turned out well, and just got the steering in as well. So that covers part two. So that's going to look absolutely superb, hopefully, when it's all done. So that's coming along really well. Very happy with that. Glad I chose that colour. It looks absolutely superb. It really does. The Caterham. Now, what we're working on with this, we've got the fuel pipe in, the filler pipe at the back, the filler cap on, this bit of aluminium bodywork on as well. The roll cage is in, which we previously painted and 2K cleared. So that's looking really good. All the rear suspension's in, that all works. Absolutely fantastic. We got all the kick carpeting, which is all the bits at the bottom, and the side panels as well, which weren't carpeted. Um, but I had some model factory hero uh, some of these of carpet that my buddy Gary Constable sent me. So I cut those to shape and put those in, and we've had to install some part of the belts as well. Um, so they're not fully in just yet. I've uh, got a little bit of tweaking to do. That one's actually come apart there, so that needs to be sticking on. Um, and I made a bit of a mistake as well. I didn't quite realise I only had one belt. When I ordered those aftermarket belts, um, I didn't realise it was just one. So I had to spend another £15 for another belt. So that's on the way. Uh, but this thing's going really well. All the body work's done. It just needs flatting and polishing. And the next step on this is the engine base. So it's going to be really, really interesting. But going really great there. Somebody told me it was a not a great kit to build and a Mojo Sapper. I'm absolutely loving it. It is literally like building your own mini kit car. It is superb. So really loving this. Absolutely loving it. Um, really is interesting to build. It's fantastic. Um, now, the next project. <clears throat> Myself and Sam bought one of these Fujimi uh, McLaren MP412s. Absolutely lovely. Uh, we got these aftermarket decals, which we'll get to in a little bit. And like I said, we're going to do a full in-box review, but I think we'll just have a little tour through the box now instead. Uh, those decals are lovely. We'll look at those in a bit. And I've got the yellow-orange McLaren paint as well for it. From, uh, yeah, absolutely lovely from Hero Boy. So stunning, stunning kit. So lovely box art on this. Absolutely beautiful looking car. Um... The downside to me, Fujimi, is the decals. They've let me down, they've let others down, and they're just a pain in the backside. Instructions, now these actually look pretty good. They're pretty clear, concise. I can't see any problems with those at all. They're very, very nice decals, so they shouldn't give us any bother at all. They're really cool. We get on the bench properly so you can see. Everything's laid out nice for you to see. Nice and clear. So yeah, really good. I've not built a lot of Fujimi kits uh, in the past. Only probably three or four. Everyone's let me down on the decals I've ever built. Um, but this one uh, is going to be different because we've got aftermarket decals. So instructions look good. You also get um, this little sheet in there, which is for the very nice photo etch set that you get in there too. So we've got some uh, grill covers, seat belts, no, no harness material, which is a bit odd. Unless it's in there and I haven't seen it. Uh, the discs, pedals, so on and so forth, and that's a really nice photo set. So a nice little extra to get, and there's your kind of added instructions for the photo edge part. So it's going to be pretty cool. Like I said, didn't see any photo uh, seatbelt material, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, but it might be in there, I've not seen it, but no in Fujimi, it more than likely isn't, sadly. So that's a nice little touch as well. Kit decals, like I say, these have let me down before. These actually look all right, though, and the guy who built it said he had no problem, but, yeah, I don't know. We're probably going to be using one or two of these anyway, so we'll see what they're like and uh, pay attention to it. And there's the backing. Uh, I think we've got some dry transfer, wet, dry transfer thingies for the tyres there as well. So that's that. And the kit itself, um, the body shell looks good. It's got the biggest screw point. I've ever seen absolutely huge, but doing that, I guess you know the moulding's correct. So that's all going to be cut off and cleaned up when I get it out. Um, but it's a nice clean body. There's not a lot of seam work to remove. I think I spotted one the other day. There it is on the back, on the back rear quarter. 
And there's a little bit of damage just there, but that's going to need a little bit of clean up. We're on the whole, the body shell is not bad at all. Really is pretty clean, so quite happy with that. Tires are there with our poly caps and an axle, about the look of it as well. Clear parts look good. Um, actually, look really good. I'm not going to take them out because you can see them through, you know, maybe clear parts. Um, the clear parts are really good. The clarity is good. There's no damage or anything. Um, and not a lot of glass on this. Now, you do get a mass set in the kit. Where is it? There it is. Uh, but sadly, you've got to cut it out yourself, which isn't the end of the world. But it always seems a little bit silly to me. You've got all to the efforts of making it. Laser cutter, you know, cut it out. Uh, Hero Boys just started making a master for us. I bought one of those just for ease. Uh, but it's just silly. It really is daft to make that and not cut out. Tammy does it with a 130 second aircraft as well. And I never understand it at all. Um, the parts themselves, you have some chrome parts for the rear lights, which is always good. Roll cage looks pretty um, straightforward. There's not a massive amount of flash on the kit. There's not a huge amount of seams. They are there. They're always there. Uh, but they're not sticking out in your face. And overall, it just looks really good. Um, I was surprisingly impressed by the kit. What's well, going to go together like, I don't know. We'll find out in a couple of days. But overall, it looks really good. So on the bodywork, we've got these side panels to glue in place after they're done. Um, so how, again, how they're going to fit, I don't know. Fingers crossed it's okay. Because it's such a nice kit, I want it to work. Uh, so you've got a few components in there. We've got some rather odd plastic spidering, webbing kind of whatever the hell is going on in there. Bit of flash on that. It's quite a bit of flash on those parts in there actually. Which is a bit of a shame, but just one of those. So yeah, they don't look too bad. Fingers crossed those panels will fit on well. Uh, we've got the chassis there as well. All one piece, just like the Lamborghini we're building now. Bulkhead engine bay wheel arches and again no problems there at all they look really good no point taken out it's just boring black plastic the rims are very very nice these are beautiful very nice they kind of got like a gun metal finish to them already but they'll be painted in the appropriate color and again nice and clean they even have tire valve stem detail on there as well if you look at six o'clock on the wheel You'll see it. I thought it was a bit of flash at first. It's not. It is actually the, via the valve tire. The towel. My God. The tire valve stem is actually built in. So that's very, very nice. Again, a nice little touch. And then we've got the seat. It's an individual separate seat. And this looks really good as well. Yeah, nice racing seat. Very nice. All the appropriate points are not built in. <laughs> the side's going to need drilling out. Why do that? So they've got the bottom one out, the two side ones are not. So that's going to need a bit of work, but the seat looks good. And then we've got our cockpit tub and engine bay. Now this is probably going to be the part that takes a while to do because all the detail for the cockpit tub is moulded in, as to is the engine. Now, it's not the greatest, but at least it's there. Because um, you're going to see this through the rear um, uh, window at the back. So that's going to take some careful brushwork and a bit of weathering. It's it's not going to look the best, but at least it's there. That's the way I look at it. Um, it's not the end of the world, but the rest of it looks good. It, it's pretty cleanly moulded. Apart from that white sprue, there's no real flash. It's all pretty crisp as well. Even all this engine bay, it, it's actually pretty crisp. It is there, and it's not bad at all. So like I said, I'm pretty impressed by this kit. Hopefully, and I mean fingers crossed, and get rid of those bags. This thing is going to go together okay, because if not, I'm going to be disappointed. Um, but hopefully myself and Sam can work through it and get it built. So we've got the paint as well. Tyres are there, the slicks, as we said before. The paint's there from Herobon, so it's a beautiful orange-yellow um, with that kit, so that's good as well. And then the hobby design decals. Let's have a look at these. I've not even looked at these myself yet. Let's have a look what we've got. So... Oh, they're yeah, nice. Oh, yes. They are very nice. Yep, they are lovely. So, hopefully we won't get any blue through off the orange with these. Um, it's a light blue, so we should be all right. The golf markings. I've got a bit of a weird thing with golf, and I was talking to Sam about this today. I love any of the tobacco sponsorships, the alcohol, um... Things like Marlborough, Rothmans, uh, Martini. But I've got a special kind of liking of golf. 
And the reason is where I grew up, uh, next to my house on my way home to school, was a big uh, car garage or a petrol station. And it was a Gulf garage. And it, I just got fond memories of that, that place on the way home. I have no idea why. It's a weird childhood memory. Uh, they had a roof you could get up on. My mate used to hide up there and things like that. And it was great. It was a big, it was called the Atlantic Garage. Um, and I'm dying to find pictures of it, uh, but I can't find them anywhere. And it's just kind of this logo just like takes me back to being a kid. It's a strange one. I don't know why, but it just does. And I just love the golf schemes. They look fantastic. And these decals look really nice. Uh, they're really thin. And the colouring's good. They're all in register. And I've used these before. I cannot for the life of me remember what on. But I have used them before. They don't look too difficult. We've got our call out there for them. There we go. And I think it's just going to look stunning. It really, really is going to be pretty. And uh, I am really itching to start this build. So there we are. So there's a look through the kit and the instructions and the decals as well. So there we go. Um, as you see, been busy working. Uh, working. Um, the kit looks great. It really does look superb. And I'm really looking forward to start it. Um, now something I've been asked. Number one, can I have a look through the display case? Pretty sure I did it not long ago. We're all doing the next bench update. I'll take the camera over and have a look through. I'm sure I did it not too long ago. Um, it needs a bit of a dust again. It, it's terrible for collecting dust. Even though we completely took it apart and cleaned it not even four months ago. It really does. It's a dust hoarder. But next bench update, I'll go for the display case. Another thing I thought of as well. We do questions for the crew on the live show. But if anyone out there, I'm trying to content to this. Make it a bit more interesting. Interaction between us and you out there is good. I like that. I like talking to you. I like doing these bench updates. I like the interaction through the comments. So I thought, what can I do to it? So, you got any questions? Anything you want to ask me? Be it about UMP, ISM, me, modelling, anything at all. Ask it in the comments and I'll read them out next time. I may not get any. I may get loads. But seriously, anything you want to ask me uh, and I can answer it or I want to answer it, I will. Uh, but literally, anything you want to ask, uh, pop it in the comments and I'll get to it next time. Just trying to add a bit more content because sometimes... I've got a week's worth of stuff to show you. That's great. Sometimes when I come back, I've got a couple of days progress. And I'll bump the bench update along a couple of days until I've got stuff to do. So if I've got content to put in, I can do the bench update more regularly. So like I say, got any questions? Honestly, just ask in the chat. And I'll go through the cave, uh, the cave, um, the display case next time as well. So there we are. So that's it. Also, don't forget the first of March is our Models for Heroes charity auction. Um, so if you've got anything you want to donate to the auction and not coming to us this time, they're going direct to Malcolm. Go to Multi Heroes website, I'll put the link in the description, and send your kits off there. There's an address there, and make sure you mark them ISM Charity Auction. Others will just go into the donations that they normally go into. Um, we're trying to raise as much money as we can for this fantastic charity. 1st of March, ISM Channel, 7.30 UK, 8.30 Central Europe. Uh, sorry, Europe, 130 Central US. Come and join us and let's see what money we can raise. It'll literally be allocated uh, slots of each kit or auction item. And you're given a couple of minutes to bid. You bid in the chat on the side of the YouTube. And the highest person wins. That's it. It's as simple as that. Very easy to do. We've raised a lot of money in the past and hopefully we can do it again this year. And there we are. Um, so, like I say, part two of the Lamborghini build will be up in a couple of days. I've got some reviews to get up as well, so they're going to start trickling in. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to starting that thing. I really, really am. As you've seen, it was a good kit. Loads in the box. Absolutely fantastic. And I know myself and Sam are both itching to start it. Hopefully it's not going to be terrible. There's no issues with it. But I can't see and I haven't heard of any problems with it at all. But you never know. We shall see. So there we go. Thanks for watching as always. Check out the Tesla Scale Model Facebook page and forum. Uh, check out my Paul ISM uh, Facebook page as well. My work shirt on there. Check out the Modeling Hangout group with our fair hangouts. It's Friday Night Live at the Bench page on Facebook as well. UMPRetail.com, myself on these business. Just had a month of Tamiya restocks. There's more kits on there. There's some tools. There's some excellent Tamiya polishing sponges. I'm going to run through their paces on the Lamborghini. So you see those on video in a few uh, days or so. Uh, and lots of other bits and bobs being added constantly to that site as well as well as a very special uh, release that will be hopefully very soon and I'm quite excited about this one um, but that's all I'm going to tell you uh, and check out Monster Heroes links are all these in the descriptions down below so go on there and have a look and uh, there we go so don't forget if you've got any questions for me 
at all. Anything at all, pop them in the chat. Try not to troll me if you can. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Serious questions, anything like that at all, pop it in there. And uh, like I say, I've been asked a couple of times now what's in there. And uh, actually, a few people have asked what's over there as well. You only see this way. My camera used to be that way. A uh, long time ago when we did the new shows, I showed all that. Um, but if people ask what's over there, so maybe I'll do just a quick what's behind me thing as well. So there we go. So thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.